Good afternoon, guys. How you all doing? YouTube world. I'm out here uh, about the ranch. Uh, Getting the status update. We uh, grew some. We're growing some uh, onions out here. We should have them already picked. Some of them have been picked already. Some of them haven't. But, uh, Checking up on this other side, make sure that, that the cotton was sprayed. We have a fumicide fumi that we spray so that larva doesn't get into the plants. Towards the other side, we're going to check. We're going to check towards the other side uh, how the, what's the status of these onions that we've been picking. I'm gonna come in here real quick. And check on the turn back around the other way. I got one of my workers out here checking the the water pressure and conditioning it. So we got cotton on this other side also. Um, we have a uh, a process that we do to condition the water. Most of this water that comes out of the Rio Grande is. Um, yeah, we're gonna turn in here real quick. Most of the water that comes out of the Rio Grande is uh, it's hard water. It's considered hard water. So we gotta condition it so we can be able to apply it to the plant to make it uh, produce better, better, uh, or not better, but healthy plants. Um, Healthy plants are stronger plants. They grow a lot better. They bring more yield. For example, in this case, we got cotton on this side right now. That part is empty right there. Right there. We don't we don't usually plant, plant this part. We got we got cotton right here. So we try to make it healthy as possible. No. We got oranges in the other side. The grapefruit. We got the uh, seedless oranges on, on this side of the field. A couple hundred acres of it. Works out pretty good. Right here. Turn right here. And most most of the oranges right now are empty. We we picked them about a month and a half ago already. So right here we're growing watermelons. It's pretty much one of the su sweetest watermelons that we have in the southern part of Texas. And they're all the majority of the watermelons that we grow are are seedless, and they're extremely sweet. We got contracts with uh, several large companies, and uh, I'm not allowed by YouTube reg regulations to name the companies. I'm not supposed to advertise, but um, we got beautiful, beautiful watermelon coming out. Look at that! There's, there's one coming out already. I'm going to show you one of them. As a matter of fact, there's a few that have been opened up already.
Well, I'm here at the in the area of the ranch where we got uh, watermelon being grown right now. Um, if you all can see, they're kind of babies right now, but they are considered one of the sweetest watermelons that we grow out here in South Texas. Um, here's a watermelon right there. Uh, there's a few watermelons out here right now. They are kind of small, as I said. We do have a trickle ir irrigation system, which makes it work a lot better. There's a big one right there. And there's another oval one. Uh, most of these are all seedless. We do have uh, some that are going to be seeded. Um, the majority of these are seedless. We're going to keep our our hands busy with uh, these watermelons in just a couple of weeks. Um, let's go out there and check the uh, the onions. The onions should have been picked up already. I'm going to take off over here and check the onions. The life of a farmer is uh, real nice, very calm, very peaceful. You know, I have a full abundance of watermelon just in this particular area. We've done great. We've treated the land great this year, so uh, hopefully it should provide us good, good abundance of, of products. Um, and we can thank God for that. Our prayers are always go answered here. The farmer, we we try to do everything we can so that the world can continue going around. And we got some baby oranges on this side. With uh, they're still being grown. They're they're kind of small. The medium sized ones in the other side over there. We've got a man made lake over here we actually have fish in there we poured a couple of fishes in there they've been able to grow pretty good as uh, you can see i got one of the workers out there working on the water pump conditioning the water so that the plant is comes out more healthy um It's pretty much the everyday routine here, checking on the plants. We're doing pretty good. We have a big harvest of watermelons this year. Uh, we should already be done with the onions, and and that's what I'm gonna go check right now. It, it we shouldn't have people out there anymore. Uh, that's what I heard from one of my ranch supervisors. That um, they should have already cleared out by now. Or we're gonna check on that. Is one of the ranch workers checking on on the uh, rows of watermelon? Making sure that the uh, the trickle irrigation is working. We don't want to have a clogged up line and have have uh, have the uh, watermelon go to waste on it. Coming up to the part where we have, uh, we used to have onions here. I think it's, I think we're pretty much done here. Um, they did a good job in picking most most of the onions, uh, onions that would qualify naturally for the with the USDA. Because uh, there's other types of onions that just wouldn't qualify, and we had to leave those behind. Um, so whatever you see here on the field, whatever you see that was left behind. It's because we knew that it wouldn't be approved. On this side also, there's a lot of onion that was left behind. That wasn't gonna be approved from USDA, so it, we weren't gonna bother with it.
Anyways, here we go. <coughs> We're gonna check on one more field. Oh, excuse me. I'm check on one more field. There's a couple of tags there, but it's, they're not onions. It's uh, irrigation nodules. If you see towards this side, we have a long fence. There's an epidemic of deer and all types of exotic animals beyond this fence here. That's why they keep it very high. So we can make sure that those animals do not cross over to this side. We wouldn't want for them to start damaging our watermelons. Under state and federal law, if we catch any of those deer that had crossed over here and damage damages our 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 watermelons, we, we have to put it down. We would put it down, and we normally call contact the Federal Game and Wildlife Division. Let them know that we had to put down an animal uh, because it was destroying our 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 fruits and vegetables. Um. It, 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 it's been very rare of a case. Okay, we're coming up to another patch of watermelon here. Um, as you can see, it's very, very healthy. If, if you see the dark brown plants that are on the side, those are windbreakers. That was placed there, and naturally it used to be green. Uh, that was placed there so that whenever we had northern winds, Northern winds or southern winds, it wouldn't obstruct the growth of the watermelon. The watermelon would still be able to, to um, grow healthy. Anyways, I'm coming up to just the end of, of um, 300 acres that we pretty much covered right now. Um, we're going to go ahead and just uh, turn this video off for now and tomorrow I can take you over to the other ranch that one's going to be about another 2,000 acres of uh, watermelon that we have but uh, just to you can get an idea of how much work we have ahead of us in picking these watermelons there's another Part right here, this would make it about another 200 more acres that we have right here. In total, we got about 1,500, 1500 acres that we, uh, I've, I've only showed you about four or 500 acres, but based on the roads that I've taken. There used to be watermelon on, uh, excuse me, there used to be uh, onions on this side also, but um, that's been picked already. So anyway, you two viewers, if y'all like what y'all saw, and press a like in the bottom and subscribe to my channel. Uh, if if I can see that I get enough subscribers, I can be able to post more videos. Y'all have a good afternoon and have a safe weekend. Y'all take care. God bless.